Hey, 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 it's Rod Bergeron back here with you for Drawing for Absolute Beginners. And um, I'm thinking about uh, turning this into a mixed media piece. So what happens when I mix media together? And in Drawing, an absolute be for absolute be bleh, in Drawing for Absolute Beginners, I really want to encourage you to experiment, make a mess, get your candy and your coffee out, and uh, just have some fun laying stuff on the page. But this is a... Uh, a quick little still life that I was just doing for my drawing for absolute beginners working with soft pastels these are soft pastels and I really want to just talk about what happens when we mix media together all right so we're gonna use different drawing medium and mix them together this is just soft pastel there's nothing else in this um, except for a little bit of Rod Bergeron maybe all right so uh, grab a coffee or some candy, wine, whatever works for you. And I have here a charcoal pencil. What happens when I take this charcoal pencil and I introduce some black line to this piece? All right. So what happens when I put into this work Some idea of very dark line. Well, you'll see it starts to define it a little bit more. It starts to change it somewhat. And especially if I do it in some continuous line pattern, you'll see that some of these things become, uh, they start to jump out off the page. And why is it they jump out off the page? Because I'm using some very defined line with some very, very mucky mixed stuff. And so it, it starts to, you know, lift itself off the page a little bit. What happens if I introduce something like just straight graphite? What if I take something like a, a, a pencil, like say I take this 6B pencil and I put in just, you know, some real muted cross hatching here or some hatching. I guess this isn't cross hatching, but what happens when I do that and I preserve this white space? I don't worry about covering up. All the white space and I put in some curved lines just like we did on the cylinders before because this is a bottle which is a cylinder so what happens when I start to just put in some curved lines what happens when I take this blue bottle and I introduce some curvature to it it starts to look like a bottle that has lots of different elements going on in it and I think that's the thing that really interests me about multimedia pieces is that I start to consider why did the artist make these choices? Why did the artist decide that this particular drawing needed to have graphite put into it or have charcoal put into it? And why did they use these colors? And what was the purpose of it? And I think the, the more that you start to experiment with it and the more you start to ask yourself those questions, the more interesting your work is going to be, all right? So give mixed media a try. Don't hold back. Don't worry about creating a masterpiece. Worry about having fun and creating something that you're interested in drawing or something that you're interested in making. All right? Not everything's going to be a masterpiece. Just have fun. All right? Again, it's Rod Bergeron. Thanks for checking me out. This has been uh, Drawing for Absolute Beginners. If you learned anything, I'd love it if you would uh, click like. Leave me a question or comment if you need clarification on anything or if you just want to touch base, I'd love to hear from you. If you're not currently a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel and get all the upcoming madness. Thanks for checking me out. See you again.